there are a number of different universally accepted ways of explaining acids and bases. When we talk about acids in level 2 chemistry, we say that they are proton donors. This may sound a little strange at first, but it refers to what is happening at the molecular level as an acid reacts with another reactant. When acids react, they give away a hydrogen ion. For example, let's think about hydrochloric acid, HCl. When it reacts, it donates its hydrogen ion to the system and simply becomes a chloride ion. Now remember what an ion is. An ion is an atom with a charge on it. So in the case of hydrogen, the ion has one positive charge and is hence a hydrogen atom which has lost an electron. But hang on a minute, didn't hydrogen only have one electron and one proton to begin with? Once hydrogen drops its electron and becomes an ion, it becomes nothing but a proton. Because of this, when an acid donates hydrogen, it is donating a proton, and we refer to acids as proton donors. Now that we've got an example out of the way, we're going to use the entirely made up chemical compound called HA in order to talk about acids from now on. About half the time, you'll see proton donation written like this. The other half of the time, you'll see acids reacting with water. The acid, HA, is donating a proton to water, and water is accepting that proton and becoming H3O+. H3O plus is called hydronium, and you can basically think of it as the thing that makes solutions acidic. So folks, that's how acids work. They donate protons when they react. A base is simply the opposite of an acid, and so when bases react, they accept the same hydrogen ion, and hence proton, that the acid lost. The A- must be the base here because it has accepted a proton from the molecule of water and turned it into HA. The water has then become OH-, or a hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ions are the things that make solutions basic. Therefore, we define a base as anything that acts as a proton acceptor.